Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man, we're returning to the CES MMA cage on June the 10th, CES MMA 36. As he's going to be looking to go to 2-0 in his career, it's Matt Tellos who is going to be taking on, and I apologize if I butcher his opponent's name, Marab Delavishevi. I probably butchered the hell out of that name, Matt, by the way. But uh, you are <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, coming in here after winning your pro debut uh, via submission. Uh, and you went through a couple opponent changes for that. So what was that kind of like for you making your pro debut and, and you're getting an opponent change? Um, the opponent change to me isn't really a big deal. I honestly expect it just because, um, I don't know, it's just a small scene. Uh, people are getting hurt all the time. It's a difficult sport to stay healthy in, but uh, to me it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter who's across the cage for me on fight night. I'm there to perform. I'm there to demonstrate my skills and abilities. The other person really doesn't matter to me. What do you do to make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you're keeping your body in a healthy way and, you know, trying to, you know, avoid injuries? I mean, obviously every guy walks in a cage with some, you know, nicks and bumps, whatnot, but what do you do to make sure that, uh, you know, you're taking care of your body? Um, I try to train smarter rather than harder. So I listen to my body. If there's a day where I'm feeling like crap or uh, something's bothering me, I'll take the rest. You know, I've been training almost every day for the past 10 years. So if I take a day off or two, it's not really going to affect fight night. Um, so I guess that's how I keep myself uh, relatively healthy. And I, I have good coaches and they help me out a lot. And, of course, uh, i got to ask you the nickname, the paper boy. How would you get it? Um, so there's some local reporter who's writing an article about one of my fights, and uh, he referred to me as your average, everyday paper boy based on my unassuming looks. I'm not a fan of it, but, hey, it's his nickname. you got to stick with it, I guess. But shouldn't maybe one of your teammates give you the nickname, though? Um, yeah, but that somehow stuck and I've been stuck with it. I've been trying to shake it, but I can't. Yeah, I just, I, I, as a MMA reporter, I just couldn't feel like I could give a fighter a nickname. <laughs> but maybe that's just I me. Honestly went, no, I agree with you. Um, I would much rather a nickname from one of my teammates, but somehow this guy got it to stick. Uh, apparently he's he's a much better reporter than I am. Like getting a stick there with the, with the paper boy, but yeah, it, the fight coming up here. Um, obviously, when you look at your opponent, um, you know what what does he bring to the cage that you look at and say, you know what, that's that's what he does really well. Um, you know he's a powerful, explosive guy. Um, I've heard that he's got some sambo and judo background. You know so. I'm assuming he's looking to throw some big shots, looking to tie up, stuff like that. Um, but he's not really bringing anything to the cage that I've never seen before. Again, I've been trained for the past 10 years. Um, people think I'm new to this sport, but uh, I'm a veteran, and I've seen a lot. I've trained with a lot of people. Um, I've seen a million different looks, so people can think that they're going to bring something into the cage that I haven't seen. But that's just not the case. That's not going to happen. What's the biggest lesson you've learned uh, so far in the sport? Uh, the biggest lesson that I've learned, that's a good question. Uh, probably not caring. Like, don't I don't want to care about what the crowd thinks or what my opponents think. Um, I really... And just trying to focus on me. So when the fight is happening, I'm, I'm focused more on my performing, me doing what I want to do, me expressing myself more than anything. So I've learned not to care. How do you, in a fight, and I don't know whether you've had to deal with this or not, where what, what, what happens if the fans aren't liking what they're seeing inside uh, you know, the cage? How do you make sure that doesn't get to you? Uh, 
Yeah, I just don't care. Um, <laughs> they can like it. They can not like it. Uh, as long as I get my hand raised at the end of the night, that's all that matters to me. Um, it could be as boring as Ben Askren or as exciting as Anderson Silva. I don't really care. Um, I just want to win. When you, when you go into a fight, do you is it is it primarily about yourself uh, of going in there and saying, okay, you know, this is th- these are techniques I've been working on. I want to implement this into the fight, or is it a little bit of knowing what you want to do, but also having that mindset of, okay, I know he likes to throw this technique. I, I got to make sure I'm ready for that technique at any moment. I mean, how do you look at the fight? Um, I know what I'm going to do. And basically every fight, you know, to me, I make it as simple as possible. I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to take you down and I'm going to finish you either by elbowing, elbowing you in the face a thousand times until the referee stops it or choking you unconscious. But I mean, I'm going to be aware of what the other guy is good at. I'm not just going to go in there blind. Typically my coach will say to me, Hey, this guy is good at this. And we work on that a little bit, but we really focus on myself and what I'm going to do. So that way I can stay in control of the fight. Obviously, you want to go out there, you you want to get uh, the victory and and get out of there as quickly as possible. But in in general, do you do you prefer a knockout over submission or a submission over a knockout? Well, I started with jujitsu. So winning by submission is kind of. Uh, a satisfying feeling for me just because it's demonstrating that I'm the better grappler. Um, if I go in there and I can completely neutralize somebody, take them down and submit them, I'm happy. To me, that's better than a knockout because they couldn't stop me. A knockout, anybody can get lucky and you can get caught with a punch, but a submission, I feel like takes a lot more work, a lot more dedication, uh, and it's usually harder to get. And, of course, this fight is going to be part of CES MMA 36 coming up on June the 10th in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Matt, appreciate the time. Good luck in the fight, man. Thank you very much.